Hey everybody and welcome back to RC Crawlers and More and this part of the more part. I was tinkering around with this last couple days and this is what I came up with. Um, for the ones that missed it, this is also you can use a PlayStation 4 or any kind of wireless controller that can go to an Android phone. Um, but I've also used my PlayStation 1 Classic controller with the extension for my Android phone. It's a C adapter. Alright, so what I have for you today is I'm going to show you what I've done to it. It was all black the last time you guys seen it. The side that red is actually pinstripe that I actually used on a real vehicle. That's what I had left over on both sides. Um, yeah, it's a little retro down here. A little sticker. Uh, let's see. Plug this in here. There we go. And this light up here, I actually got it off of one of my old RCs. <clears throat> uh, so you're seeing it first uh, as I'm seeing it. Um, hopefully it's not too bright to where I can't see my screen. Uh, so, in the back I have a three AA batteries. I have the other one here. I did not have a switch so in order for me to turn it on and off I just got to take one battery out. Uh oh. Plug it in there. Turn it around. This is a little light bar. Kind of give it a little marquee look. Oh, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. And do uh, Galaga. Right, that is pretty cool. I mean, that's my Android phone. For the ones that missed the first video, click back and uh, go back and look at that video. It shows uh, everything about it and what I've done to it. But uh, yeah, it's just. It's so cool. I mean, I can take this anywhere I go and just have some gaming, just have some gaming fun. And uh, just play games. I can watch YouTube movies. I can do just like, I don't know. I'll just get rid of these guys here real quick. I know I'm like, blah. All right. But there you have it. That's what it is. Well, it's got like a little, let me see if I can get up a little bit closer here. It's like a little light bar. Ran a wire through on the back. Poked a hole on the back. Fed the wires through. But there it is. There, I, I don't know what to name it. I want to name it uh, an Android retro box arcade I, I don't know it looks like a little arcade you know it's nothing fancy I mean I would love to own a 3d printer and actually 3d print it and get it patented um, yeah uh, decal here is actually from a model kit Thrasher and that one there goes to it that's where it says retro. But yeah, that is actually pretty cool looking. Uh, not bad for, for what I had. I mean, uh, everything just about was free. Uh, the only thing I did have to buy was batteries. Um, other than that, and to shut it off, just take one battery out. That's it. But I didn't want the light on, just unplug the battery. That's it. That is as simple as it gets. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the, the comments below. Uh, leave a like if you want. Uh, there it is. It's it's the finished product. Uh, until I do get more stickers, I'm still looking for stickers for the sides. Um, probably a small little quarter one right here on each side. 
Uh, yeah. But there it is. Um, I, th I think I'm going to stick with that name. Um, I, I don't know if there's anything out there like this. If there is, please somebody let me know. Um, and I'm going to name it, as far as my knowledge, as an arcade or uh, Android retro arcade box that you can put your phone in and play games. Yeah, so there it is. All right, everybody. Uh, this is Sean with RC Crawlers and more. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll talk to you later.